Okay, let's continue our lesson on scalar and vector. Alright. So, here's the question. Given two vectors, A and B, as shown in figure 1, if the magnitude of A and B is 20 newton and 10 newton respectively, write the resultant vector of A and B in terms of unit vector. Uh, okay? So here, the questions uh, want us to find the resultant vector in the form of unit vector. Okay? Resultant vector means what? Uh, it means that um, resultant vector means A plus B. Uh, A plus B. Okay? Unit vector means uh, in the form of I and J. Uh, that means I and J, unit vectors. So how to do? Uh, so we have a vector A and vector B. So uh, vector A is uh, 20 newton. You know, this is uh, 20 newton, and B is uh, B is uh, 10 newton. Uh, so one to um, A plus B, add them together. So how? So uh, important thing here is we we must take note now. Uh, this ve vector A direction is going this way, uh, going uh, downward. Uh, B is going to the right. Uh. So, please redraw this diagram. Okay, here I already redraw. Uh, see? Vector A actually is going uh, downward. You see? Going downward. So, we need to pull it. We need to pull it to the other side. Uh, we pull it to, the, to this side. Ah, you see that? Uh, originally, this vector A is over here. Now, we pull it downward here. We must pull it. Make sure the vector is going outward. Uh, going outward. Uh, B is okay. B, because B already uh, going to the right. So, it's going outward. So, vector A also. Vector A also make sure going outward. Uh, then, only you can uh, solve. Well, find the resultant vector. Okay, uh, resultant vector. So, how to find the resultant? Okay, so uh, uh, before we find the resultant, we, we need to resolve. Uh, resolve. Okay, resolve the vector. We need to resolve. So, resolve means uh, break into component x and y first. Okay. So, uh, A, uh, vector A, it has a uh, going this way, okay, and this way. Uh, this vector A got two components, X and Y. Huh? So, for the X component, it is, um, okay, just now, just now, A is 20, isn't it? Uh, okay. A is already 20 Newton. Uh, B is uh, 10. So, vector A is uh, 20 20, oh, because it's going to the, uh, the direction is very important. Going upward is positive, the right positive, downward negative, here also negative. So, the vector for x component is negative 20 cos 30. Uh, for this one, it is uh, going downward also negative. So, negative 20, uh, you know, sine 30. Okay? Uh, these two are, they are components of A. Resolve them. Okay? Resolve them. So, now we already have all the vectors in X and Y component. Okay? So, uh, this is the, um, for the X component, uh, so, let's do the X component. Okay? Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so for the X component, we have, um, you know, uh, 10 minus 20 cos 30, so we have what? Uh, we have, um, so if the calculator, we got a negative uh, 7.32, yeah? Uh, in this case, this is uh, I. And then for the Y component, we have um, 
uh, okay because this x uh, is the 10 and negative 20 cos 30 uh, so we got this for y component we have uh, negative 20 sine 30 so we have uh, this one is um, negative 10 uh, j okay negative means going downward uh, this negative i means going to the left okay so in the end we get what we get uh, so a plus b is equal to negative uh, 7.32 i uh, minus negative 10 j okay uh, newton that's our answer okay uh, this is the x component and this is the y component in unit vector form that's our answer okay so if you like the uh, our my video please subscribe okay thank you